Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'll show you this, the triaxle weaving dining mats and is also called as 3D mats. The one way it looks like the flowers and to the another side, you can see the cubes. Not only for the dining mats, you can use this as the floor mats, rugs, handmade carpets, cushion or the pillow covers. So let's start with this project using this rectangular shape of 20 by 15 inches and also using these 1 inch satin ribbons of 3 colors. We would also require the thermocol sheet to place the fabric like this. The lengthwise it's of 15 inches and the widthwise it's of 20 inches. So widthwise I am cutting this purple color satin ribbon. Place it one after another like this should not left with gaps place all the ribbons like this on the fabric so this would be the first step and the second step i'm using this green color satin ribbon we have to place it diagonally please concentrate the first one it's like one down two up one down two up you should follow this cycle this time the green should go down and next the purple should come up the second one now again follow the cycle like two up one down two up one down so for the second diagonal line the first one should come top second should come underneath only one one strip then we have to go with two strips like two up one down two up one down this is the most important thing you have to remember again comes to the third diagonal line Two of them should come up and one down. Two up, one down. Same cycle. Using these three diagonal lines, we have to weave the complete ribbons following the same cycle. Now you can see the green strips of the diagonal lines. Again the cycle starts now, place the green ribbon on the top, the first blue ribbon will be down now, so lift two of them up, next second down, two up, one down. Coming to the second diagonal line, the blue strip will come first on the top. Again one more strip of the blue should be underneath. Then now go with the cycle, two up, one down, two up, one down. Now if you see this second strip, it will come down. Next the two more strips will come up, one down, two up, one down. While doing this, it will be easy once you start trying it. I hope this concept is clear to you now. Now comes to the third line. This time, two blue strips up, one down, two up, one down. Continue the same. If you notice here, the green strips will have only one inch gap whereas the blue strips will have two inches gap in between so to get the gap of two inches we have to follow this cycle every three diagonal lines follow the same this is for the second step and if you done perfectly in this second step we can easily move to the third step which is so easy to do.
I'm almost done with this second step weaving. Now for the third step I would be using this red color satin ribbon. We have to find the letter S and start inserting this red color satin ribbon underneath holding this S shape. If you clearly watch it here, I am placing it underneath the letter S and pulling it to another side the same way again S on that line. So if you find one S on that line continue the same. You can easily find S on that line. Hold the three strips underneath place this ribbon and just pull to another side. See I am done with the two lines and if you see here in the center I could see here S. So again underneath that S pull this ribbon to another side. You can see here the flower shape. If your second step is perfectly done then third step is so simple and easy to do. Just place it underneath this S letter and pull to another side. And finish all the diagonal lines with finding the letter S. Now if you see here the S letter I would be placing this underneath and pulling it out. You can see here the flower shape. The same way we have to finish all the lines one after the another. Following the same, finish the pattern. See start from underneath this S and pull to another side the same way on that diagonal line. You can also use this concept for the designing of anakali suits or for the bodies of any patterns. See one side you can see the flower shape and to another side you can see the cubes. The same way follow the same instructions and complete the pattern.
Once the weaving is done, trim off all these extras. I'll give the rough stitch on these edges to secure this pattern. Now for the concealing of these raw edges, I'll be using these 2 inch strips. Place these folded strips on the corners and give the stitch line. And the final look out of this star or triangle weaving is here also called as 3D pattern. I hope you like this concept. If you like it, please hit the like icon to support it. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you all with another interesting video. Stay tuned.